Hi guys! Welcome to Mad Scientist Hour. <laughs> sort of. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is create some textile art. I watched a workshop last week online. It was called Stitch Camp and it was um, this five day thing which sounds really long but it wasn't it was like 15 minutes a day I think something like that but it was put out by textileartists.org I think it is I'll put a link to it in the description box and it was kind of an advertisement for them to get you interested in joining their club, Stitch Club, which um, sounds kind of like a craftsy thing, except it's just stitching, it's just hand stitching. Um, all kinds of stuff from sculptural textiles to um, Gosh, what else did they say? Felting, um, and then this, which looked really fun. I didn't have time to do it last week, so I thought I would try it now. And um, that's what this is for. <laughs> All my little toys. These are mostly from my art supply junk drawer <laughs> things that i've collected that i thought i could use sometime um not sure when so some of them are probably 10 plus years old um, some of it is packaging like these things this is probably from socks um Here's an acorn top. Oh, I could get more stuff from our nature museum out in the front porch. <laughs> um, here's an arm. Here's some doll hands. Weird, right? But I thought it would be fun to, to use this. Oh, yeah, and what all these are for is mark making. Um, so... We're going to use paint, and the deal was you're supposed to pick three colors, a light, a dark, and a mid-tone, basically. And mostly we're just using the mid-tone and the dark, and we're going to paint on fabric with all these weird things. Now, I do have a couple of paint brushes, but mostly we're going to use the weird stuff, just to kind of... Um, get you out of trying to control the process, I think, um, and find some surprising results, you know. I'm, I'm sure some of these will work better than others, and um, some will fail miserably. <laughs> um, I'm excited about trying them, though. I mean, like, okay, here's my little tiny pig. See, I'm going to use his feet, right? His little fused together front feet and back feet. I thought that would be fun to try. <laughs> so we'll see. I got to turn my light on here. There we go. That's better. All right. So I've got all these doohickeys. And then you're supposed to you know, set that aside. You're supposed to mix your paint with water until, and this is acrylic paint, not watercolor, um, until it's kind of a creamy consistency. So mine might be too watery, I'm not sure. I think I'll have to start using it to find out. So the colors I've chosen, I just have a white for the light color because we're not going to use that very much, just kind of to correct where we need some more light spaces I don't know and then um, the colors I chose for mid-tone and dark are burnt umber and flat 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 
green, however you say that. <laughs> green. Um, I thought these would be fun colors because they're sort of nature-y, you know, forest, um, trees. That's what it makes me think of. And I love green and I love trees. And so that's what I'm going to do. So um, you're supposed to get two pieces of fabric, two different textures I think is the the object um, and you do one piece with more um, filling strokes so you don't leave much white space and then the other one you do um, more like lines you know squiggles and stuff like that I mean you can do both you can do the squiggly stuff on here too. I'm gonna do the the more filling piece first. So this is just a piece of um, probably mid-weight cotton um, that I, I don't know exactly. I inherited it from someone who didn't want it anymore. Um, it's white. It seemed like it would take paint well, so we're going to see, oh yeah, this is another thing I thought would be fun to play with. Doink, doink, doing that. Um, and then I also have, ooh, where did I put it? In here, I think. I also have some pieces of, I think they're linen. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not real good with knowing my fabrics yet, but I think they're linen. They're pretty thick. And they have this fun nubby texture and you can see the lines of the the threads so i've got a few different kinds here i think i don't have a big piece i just have these these um these little pieces but it's fine it doesn't matter i'll just do several of them um and you know i just basically chose this size because it fits in the video window. <laughs> At least I hope it fits. Let's see. Does it fit? Yes. Good. Okay. So let's start. These are just my little stir sticks. I broke a chopstick in half. Um, and let's start with the green. And what should we start with making a mark first? Maybe I'll just start with this stick. How about that? Oh, it makes fun dots. I got a lot of little circular things because I do like circles. So I thought that would be fun. And this, this is like a technique that I saw the teacher, ooh, I can't remember her name, Quinn something. It'll be in the link. Um, but she, she was, again, trying to not be so controlled about making the marks. And so she was doing weird stuff like rolling the, the thing that you're using. Because um, you can't control it as much. And it, yeah, it makes kind of fun marks. Um, let's see what else. I should probably leave that in there. Well, whatever. Let's try the fork. you have these straws in your like utensil drawer straws from cups that you saved but nobody uses anymore <laughs> but you can't throw them out I don't know why oh and you're supposed to do like half so half of the piece with one color and half of the piece with the other color and then do a little bit 
of each color on the other side, if that makes sense. So you're mixing them a little bit. And you'll be mixing them more later because you're going to be cutting up the piece and then putting pieces back together in a different way, kind of Frankensteining it, you know? Oh, I do like this straw. This is really fun. It's just so playing, you know? It's just playing. So I've got lots of newspaper down here so that I can make a mess and not worry about it being on my um, on my desk. And this is just a, a gift card. Um, I have a bunch of these that were like expired or something. Target gift cards. Like a huge stack of them. So, you know, you can make your own tools. That's what I did. I just cut it um, with a little make make my own little fork tines kind of okay and we can use paintbrushes let's try i kind of got this one of my raggedy paintbrushes because the end is very um now i'm just gonna sort of tumble it down here just flip it the the bristles are pretty raggedy and um the other thing was she said using um paint brushes or just anything long like this try to use oh there's a brush on that end i <laughs> uh, didn't notice that before um try to hold it at the very end so that you have less control and you can get more surprising results. So. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I've actually had a very rough day. I had a migraine and woke up with a headache and it just got worse. So it's now after midnight and I'm finally feeling mostly better and I've been itching to get at this. So I could not wait another day. This is like an army guy. I thought the bottom shape was neat. If I could get that shape. Ooh, yeah. That's cool. There. That is a fun blob shape. See, it's like you never know what's gonna work good or not. So you gotta try all kinds of stuff. kind of need a container that you can get your hand in depending on what <laughs> weird stuff you're dipping into your paint like a bottle cap which is not doing a whole lot here giving me a very faint outline mostly just one little curve I think that's pretty good as far as filling up that space i do, the only thing is i don't like this line here just cutting everything off so i think i'll do a little more so we have more of a natural um 
transition, a more organic transition. How about that? Um, you can also, you know, play with um, whatever you're using to make the mark. You don't have to like smush it down hard. Like I can just make little, little tiny marks with a light hand. This is so fun, you guys. You have to try this. <laughs> the hardest part for me was picking two colors. Just two colors. I just couldn't decide. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let us move on to Burnt Umber. I love that name. I haven't tried this teeny this is a skewer, I guess. A kebab skewer. Nice. I like this size dot. Okay, I need some more down here, like thicker marks. Mm. Let's try this sponge, Mr. Sponge. use the bottles. I have all these little bottles. Um, basically I wanted them for the bottom, for the circle. Yep. So I could get more different sizes of circles. Yeah, it's bigger than the toilet paper roll. That worked pretty well. Well, I feel like this one is pretty full, so I'll just do a little crossover and then we'll go to the next piece of fabric.
Okay, I think that's it for this, uh, this piece. Okay, I'm back. I got the other, <laughs> I did not wash my hands. Um, I got the other pieces of fabric. I just picked three of them that are similar. Um, and taped them down and I'm trying to not, you know, not tape much of the fabric, just enough to hold it in place. Um, cause I want to paint as much of it as I can. And this is hard. <laughs> I mean, it's hard for me to use this fabric because I feel like it's precious. Um, I have several more pieces of it and I have not used any of it yet. I got some from Rachel. I got some in a slow stitch kit. Someone got me for my birthday. So I've gotten, you know, several pieces, but I just, I feel like it's so precious. It's hard to use it. So I'm, I'm practicing my, um, stop hoarding and use it now, uh, idea that I have a series of videos on. Maybe I should include this one in that series. <sighs> okay, I'm going to use it. Okay, but I'm, oh, I might have to make some more paint because I don't have a lot left in there. Yeah, this one either. Uh, okay. And this is also the first time that I've used my um, acrylic paint because I got this, uh, I got these two sets like more than a year ago, probably two years ago. And this is the first time I've used them. So I'm, I'm happy to have this project to use them on. So I was thinking, um, of, you know, what I could use these for these pieces once I'm done. Um, and I had a couple ideas. I mean, I've seen looking on the Facebook group for this, um, stitch club, uh, I've seen several ideas from different people and they've done things like pencil, pencil pouches, you know, zippy bags. Um, Somebody made a like a sculpture that was kind of bendy. <laughs> it was neat. Um, one thing I thought of I haven't seen anybody do is make a bracelet. You know, um, like a cuff. And this is your wrist. It goes around your wrist. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, and the other thing is like a, a brooch. A brooch? How do you say that? I don't know how to say that. Um, where's my big safety pin? There it is. I recently got a bunch of these. I only needed a couple, but they came in like a box of 50. And I thought, I'll think of something to do with them. And I was thinking you could make like a little, a little hanging, you know? of a little piece of the fabric, the textile art, I should say, because it will be textile art when I am done with it. So that's what I was thinking, cuffs and brooches. I think that's how you say that. Okay, well, let's get started here. Let's make some dots. Oh, and I should Okay, I want to get out my other littler mark making things like the pig. Um, I guess I don't need that in there. Um, let's get my pig. Okay, my little pig. See his feet? We'll, we'll try his feet. Kinda, kinda not. <laughs> That's a little disappointing. Rats. Well, pig.
Pig, you tried. Thanks for your effort, Mr. Pig. All right. Um, what else we got? I have, no, that's another plastic animal. Um, oh, I wanted to try this. Just to see, like, if the edge would make a fun mark, or if it just makes a blob. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a blob. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like I said, mad scientist, you got to try lots of stuff. Um, let's try the G.I. Joe arm. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Let's drag his knuckles. Joe, mm. oh, you're disappointing me. dragging like dog hair but not so much with the paint yeah let's try the doll hands okay this may be the same but he's got cute little fingers does that look like it would be good If it's the fabric if it just makes a blob okay how about my son used to use these when he was little they're like to eat chunks of food he loved them he would um, use them to eat like chunks of fruit stuff like that so I still have a few of them even though he's Oh my god, he's 13? Holy mackerel. 13 or 14? God, now I can't remember. That's terrible. I must be really tired. Let's see, what time is it? It's 2.30 a.m. That's my excuse. Oh, hey. Okay, it's making some lines. A little bit. Yeah. Or if I could just coax some better lines out of it. Come on, you. You can do it, Mr. Giraffe. I believe in you. Hmm. Not so much. Can you guys see that? Oh, maybe I can zoom in a little. Okay, let's try the Lego. Okay, it's not perfect, but it, it did get six dots. Yeah, the thing is this fabric, it, the paint spreads out so much. It makes it hard to, you know, define anything. A ball chain. Let's try this. A 
to keep it. It does make thick lines though. Again, that's, I think it's the fabric. I wasn't sure how to use that. <laughs> Let's just try it. See, I like the curves on here, and I was hoping I could get an impression of the curve. Eh, a little bit. Oh, I haven't tried this. This is a pudding cup. It almost fits. <laughs> it won't go down. Ah, that is annoying. Okay, I'll just do that. Cool. It works. Works pretty well. pretty good. It doesn't get too much on it. Not to make circles, but to do lines. See that? It makes really nice, sharp lines. I think that's enough. Okay, so, um, conclusions so far. Wood things work really well, I guess, because they're porous. Um, some plastic things work pretty good, like forks. 
Uh, most plastic things don't. <laughs> um, plastic straws work pretty good. Um, I mean, these kind do, I think, because there's some thickness to them on the end. Um, this was interesting, very unpredictable. The sticks are fun. I think I'd like to do more with different sticks next time. More nature stuff. The acorn cap worked great. Um, these plastic cards work pretty well. Especially chopping them like that. Uh, what else worked well? Well, the spool worked pretty good. Yeah, I really like those. I can't even find them anymore. But, uh, yeah, I like them. There's one. Um, yeah, so just experiment. It's really fun to just try a bunch of different things. This worked well. That was the top of a yogurt container. I think the milk <laughs> top would have worked well if I could get it into the jar that I'm using for the paint. Um, so yeah, I think this was really fun. And um, part, the next part will be cutting up the fabric, like I said. So I'll see you in the next part. And give this a try, it's really fun. Okay, bye!